Hi, this is an RFID keypad and this video is to provide some video instructions as well as the written instructions about how to use this keypad. Now at the moment I have not attached the universal binary sensor to this. I have just powered it with this so simple plug in plug out uh, power supply. Once the universal sensor has been installed, it will be housed there. Everything will just be stuck down. All you would need to do is pair, include it in the controller, and that's it. And this is a, a removable power supply. So it's a simple push in. All the programming, I'm going to, to make it easier with the programming. That's why I'm doing this before I attach the universal sensor. Now, standard keypad, power light keeps flashing all the time. You've got the OK button, the mode, ignore, as that uh, doesn't do anything. This is your bell button. Now, once uh, it's all been programmed, uh, we can use the bell button to turn the alarm system on. And then, of course, use the code or one of these uh, key tags to, to, to disarm the alarm. One thing to remember which is important. The universal sensor is a very good sensor, but unfortunately its response time for when a con when the um, essentially when the wires touch not touch, they it doesn't respond quick enough. So if you press this button here quickly, like that, it will mark on the system on the controller that um, it's been triggered but unfortunately because we let go of this button too quickly the the um, the safe mode isn't um, uh, registered quickly enough so it'll end up showing as breached all the time that can cause problems with scenes um, especially with alarm scenes so my advice is whenever you use this button and you have used it is to press for a second at least and then let go that. but let's concentrate now on getting this programmed now when you receive this unit it'll be blank we'll have the factory default code management code of one two three four five. First thing we need to do is change it to do that press the star key you input the original code You then press the hash key. Then we need to go into the management mode, uh, passcode change, and that's zero. Now we need to input the new code. Now the new code can be between four and eight numbers. So I will just do nine, eight, seven, six, five. Press the hash. Now re-input the same code. Press the hash key again. And then, as you can see, the green light is solid. It means everything's been accepted and it's back into the menu system. Uh, but we'll just press star to make sure it's all saved. And now my new management code is 98765. So if I try to put the original one in, so star one. Long bleep, it's wrong. So I have to use the new one now. So star 98765. Hash. There we are. I'm in management mode. Whilst I'm in management mode, I might as well add one of the key fobs. One of these. To do that, you press... Oh, I took too long. Perfect timing. If you take too long, it bleeps at you and then goes back into normal mode. Uh, which means you then have to go back into management mode again. But to demo that this key tag wasn't included, or the second one wasn't included. You hear the long bleeps, no okay, green light. So let's uh, let's start programming it. So it's star one nine eight seven six five hash. To program the tags, it's one. Scan the tag. You've got a thing, uh, a bleep, but then you have to input a code as well, a three-digit user code. So. Uh, it starts with 001 and it can go all the way up to 800. Once you've done it, press the hash key. 
that's the number one tag done let's do the second one again you press the one key because we're back into the management mode scan the second tag and this one I'm going to sign to 002 press the hash key to save and the star key to do the full save now both of these two tags are now stored as you can see the green light is on it's recognized it same with tag number two it's recognized it it's it is literally as simple as that so for any extra tags you want you get 10 in a pack you can then program them as um, code 003004 to be honest with you it doesn't matter what code you program them in as it's never going to be used it's just there to ID the tags and that's how we will use to disarm the alarm using these tags right tags are not the only way you can use to disarm the alarm you can actually use a code now this code is a four digit number and it can you just you only need to set it up once unfortunately you can only set up one code to be used at any one time so if anybody wants to use the code they either have to share the code or you only allow one person with a code and everybody else has to use tags um, to do that straightforward uh, we enter management mode but instead of pressing one to add a tag we press five to add the code so here we go so it's star nine eight seven six five hash we're in management mode press five input a code number so one two three four press the hash key and re-input hash key it's all saved then just press the star key and that's it done now if we press one two three four remember we have to press the hash key for it to register it will now disarm the alarm done so now we have set up three ways to disarm code one two three four and hash tags here's one of the tags and here's the second tag perfect all done now to delete users or delete tags you can uh, you can reset the whole system okay and now to do that it's a simple uh, pressing once you go into management mode you can actually go in and press it um, a reset button effectively now to reset tags best way to reset tags you have to go through management mode so star nine eight seven six five now that we're in management mode we have to press the number two now the code to reset all tags is four zeros one two three four press the hash now you can see the okay light flashing so it's working away resetting all the tags You've heard the bleep and it stopped flashing the okay light has stopped flashing which means all are reset to save it press the star key it's all saved now error error no tags are working so you can effectively disable all users but the code still works as you can see the code is still working now in order to reset the code but this will also reset the management code we have to remove the power and here is a reset button if you can just see there and it actually says reset if it can focus that properly for you so remove the power there press and hold the reset key and apply power you've heard the bleep that means it's all been reset. Let's try uh, the code. Two, three, four. Hash. Error. Code didn't work. Let's try the management code. Remember, we changed it to nine eight seven six five. So star nine eight seven six five. 
doesn't work. The original manufacturer code does star. There we are, see? So that's how you reset the unit once you finish with it. We're not making any changes. So there you have it. That's a quick guide to complement the written instructions on how to program the keypads. Um, in the next part, I will show you once I've done the universal sensor and added it to the included it. I'll show you all that. Thanks for watching.